Hi guys, it's Tom, and uh, let's bring you up to speed here on our Civic electric car project. Um, I still don't have the engine out of it. I had a couple little issues that I'm about ready to whip. Nothing major, but I've been pretty busy as well. I just haven't. I haven't spent a lot of time on this, and uh, to be frank about it, uh, you know, I've been kind of stuck on it. So, um, on my, I kind of had doubts on on how I was going to build this stuff. You know, I had it all in my mind straight, and then I threw myself a curveball by looking at some other stuff on the internet. But. Let me point out to you what we got going on here. Let's see if I can turn on the light. This is the front of the front of the car, and this right here is the mount. This is this is our subframe right here. This is the mount for the transmission slash uh, engine block. There's a screw here mount that goes into the transmission itself, and there's also one under here and then we have this screw here which is the block okay so the block is being held by this mount as well you can see the split right here where my finger is this is the this is block this is transmission okay our, our cylinder here our clutch uh, throw out bearing cylinders in a way here actually so hopefully you can see what I'm talking about there so the engine is being held there and also over here and there are, I'll call it our accessory stack here we have our power steering we have our alternator and we have our AC pump and then right through here you can see perhaps those two rusty bolts sticking up there are or studs are a mount on the front of the engine here okay there we go maybe you see it there you see the mount it comes around the power steering reservoir here and right there is a soft uh, or a motor mount on the back side here there is no mount for the engine the the mount here which is mounted onto the subframe is on the transmission only okay and then uh, you see we got a tear in our axle boot right there and the hole underneath of this thing was just slung with grease unbelievable but anyway that's where we're at there and I'll show you what's kind of had me stymied here a little bit I uh, turn off the light I believe I've seen some of these built on the internet there's not a lot of videos on front wheel drive cars where they actually show a lot of the build okay um, and for as boring as my videos will be and as many of them as we'll probably have this is going to be a you know I want to show as much as possible about what we're doing here so uh, snow crusher Greg from Canada um, you know, YouTube guy uh, check his channel out he uh, sent me a link to the Canadian uh, let me see what the name it's Canadian EV I believe is the name of the site and they had a Honda adapter and that's why he sent it to me and there it is um, so this this adapter will fit it says down here I'll zoom in on it a little bit 1988 to 2005 Honda Civic and CRX so uh, ours is a 01 and I did email the guy um, his name is Randy can't remember his last name right offhand but uh, I uh, talked to him oh I don't know we shot maybe a dozen or so 
emails, exchanges back and forth, um, and talked about a few things. Um, but I'm pretty anim animate that I want to hold. I want to use. I want to use the mounts in the car. Uh, the the engine mounts in the car. I want to incorporate them into the uh, the mounting system that I'm going to make for my electric motor. I believe it's kind of important. Um, I think some of the front wheel drive vehicles that I've seen, um, um, I just didn't like them. To tell you the truth, I I didn't think they were. I thought maybe they were compromised a little bit. Um, in other words. Um, you know, with, with this mount right here, you're just hanging the motor off. Uh, the, the transmission motor mount that I was showing you guys that comes in right here, uh, you know, there's no place to screw that to for sure. Right here is where we'll be talking about. Right there. And I think it's important that somehow or another I get that involved whether it's through the adapter plate or or it's probably going to be through the adapter plate I need an adapter plate that will incorporate that I believe I I think that um, I think that's going to be needed <clears throat> you know we're going to have as much torque and uh, maybe more in the future as our as our uh, gas engine is uh, giving us now so and then we're going to use something on the front uh, of our electric motor as well so you know we got to uh, we got to uh, we got to get that stuff to work out so I don't think uh, that let me uh, get my uh, okay this is the front uh, bear with me guys this thing is pretty heavy for one hand it's over a hundred pounds <clears throat> another thing gosh darn it here here we go another thing nothing like being prepared right right here is the front of the end of the motor okay and notice how my my connections here are setting upright all right and uh, right here is basically the connections are centered between these two bosses here uh, between these two bolt holes here and here that we'll be using to mount to the adapter plate. All right. Now let me walk around here. Now notice this. This is the top of the plate. Notice the bolt holes almost straight up. So that means there's no possible way that I can make have my connectors, my connection my my three my three phases of my of my motor straight up on top of the motor that that's just unacceptable to me um, for whatever reason they want to do it and I think I got a picture here maybe here we go this is uh, some pictures that he sent me um, of a VW that they did. Um, there's a picture of my motor, uh, a motor just like mine with the VW flywheel and clutch package bolted onto it. Um, they make a few kits here, but um, uh, hopefully we're going to get a picture here that I want. But notice how they have the connection almost completely underneath here and it's not working out where it's going to be on top at least on mine either 
on the Honda adapter here. That's unacceptable for me. Um, so I thought I might get away with a little bit of a cheat here, I guess, is what you would call it, and maybe purchase this product from this outfit and, um, you know, be able to, uh, to help myself save some time, maybe, whatever. But uh, um, after thinking about it here for nearly a week, I've decided against it. And also his adapter here, uh, the hub adapter, Let's uh, kind of close in on that there a little bit. The hub adapter is like a press fit. Now their recommendation for that is, is that you put that in an oven at a couple hundred degrees and get it hot and then it'll slide right onto the shaft of the motor because you don't want to be beating and pressing things onto the end of the motor. Let's go back here to where they have the detail sorry guys bear with me of where they put this on and it also has set screws so this is basically a press fit and they've heat they've heated this up and then slid it onto the shaft and um, and then they run the screws down on it well that's that's okay I guess but I'm thinking this will be this will draw heat from the uh, from the motor um, this area will stay hot longer than the shaft on the motor so I'm not so sure that's a good idea and I just don't trust set, set screws um, with that kind of power against them um, I always had a thought that I was going to run a taper lock and here's a picture of a taper lock for a VW flywheel let me see if I can get it to where you can see it here and point a few things out perhaps okay this is your taper taper lock here it's got a split in it right here this would go on to the motor shaft and then this is this surface right here let me get something that's a little pointier <laughs> we use what's handy here okay so this would be a taper a uh, very slight taper probably you know I don't know one or two degrees let's say okay very slight on the back of this hub right here or on the back side of it would be a taper that matched okay and then you would place this you would place the uh, you place the uh, bushing let's call it bushing here onto the uh, motor shaft and in the position that you wanted it in see you can see it's keyed and then you would set this on top of that these three bolts right here would would go in there's three holes one here one here and one back here and then they would screw into these holes right here now the problem with a taper lock is that it is a taper and a taper is not as accurate as a straight bore never is never will be some people may be a bit fooled by that but that's just fact of life uh, a taper is never a very accurate thing so but it's probably accurate enough for this um, so when you would tighten something like this you would have to slowly tighten it and you know go very very slow all the way around until you got them really really tight and then you check your run out and if you're within I don't know plus or plus or minus uh, let's say three thousandths on the flywheel that's probably pretty good for a car so but the thing about the taper is, is it has a great deal of holding power. Um, and, and not only that, but you would be able to take it apart. If we go back to this adapt, hub adapter, better look up here maybe. You know, I don't know how much press they have on that. Um, it's probably a couple of three thousandths. 
um, you know because if you can slide it on if it's heated up to 200 degrees then uh, I would say it's a couple three thousandths it might be four but um, you know once that thing's cooled off if you ever had to remove that hub for whatever reason you'd have to have some whopper gear puller for sure and who knows just how tough it would be to pull that off um, that's my thought process on it but anyway I decided I decided I'm going to stay with my original thing and uh, I'm not going to go with the Canadian EV Honda D adapter kit uh, I'm sure it's a good kit the guy says that he's built electric cars for 23 years and every time I talk to him about my idea about mounts and things every time I asked him a question he never really addressed it all he did was say his customers had no trouble of course he's a salesman and I'm not throwing down on the guy I'm sure his stuff works great but I don't think it's for me I, um, I think overbuilding this is probably the uh, the thing I need to be think about doing um, any over engineering that comes out of it is going to be okay so that's what I've decided but anyway what I'm getting ready to do here guys I gotta get this header off I got a bolt here giving me a real issue I'm trying not to hurt my header uh, because it's I'm gonna sell it but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get this header off and uh, and then we're gonna get a location we're gonna get a reference on the location of all of our mounting that we're gonna use here uh, on all the accessories that we're gonna use I'm gonna get a um, I'm gonna get a reference to where it is now now we will probably move it back uh, a couple inches okay but uh, I want to reference uh, this way and this way and uh, and then we can always move it down so that's going to be the next step and then what I think I'm going to do is um, before we go and start having people cut steel for us I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wooden model of exactly what I want and uh, it'll probably be stout enough that I can actually bolt the motor into the transmission and, and, and uh, all of our stuff right here so I think that's where I'm headed. I just kind of want to give you an update. Uh, it's kind of the, it's kind of a, the thought process that I'm going through, uh, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent, or whatever. It's just kind of the stuff I deal with in, inside my head. You know, I don't have anything drawn on paper yet because I don't have anything to draw on paper yet. Um, so we're going to find some stuff out here, and. Uh, and get this engine out of here. We'll get the engine out as soon as we get our reference points made. And uh, the next video, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So stay tuned, guys. Bear with me. We just haven't been working on the Honda here for a few weeks. And um, we'll be on it, though. And, um, and we'll be back to you. So next video, we're going to start, we're going to start getting reference points. And uh, we'll get that engine out of there. And uh, get it gone. So... Take it easy. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.